Hello everyone and welcome. Today we will look at the Gaussian iterative method of solving systems of linear equations containing four variables with the help of a scientific calculator, which is here, Casio FX991ES+. Consider the question presented here. When you have a, a question like this, what are you supposed to do? The first thing is you have to make sure that a system like this has the diagonal dominance. That is, if it is not already arranged in that way. What do I mean by the diagonal dominance? The coefficients of the variables in the leading diagonal has to be the highest in their respective rows. That is, the coefficients on the variables that fall within the leading diagonal here have to be the highest in their respective rows. And to get that, we have to go first of all um, to column 1, check the variable that has the highest uh, coefficient, and take it that will be your equation 1. For equation 2, you go to the second column. You do the same thing, check the variable that has the highest uh, coefficient and take it, that will form your equation 2. The same thing should be done in equation in the third and the fourth columns. So if we check in our um, column 1 here, we can see that 13 is the highest uh, coefficient here. So we can name it as our 1. We go now, already this is out, we check from uh, the first, second, and the third ones, and now we will check in column 2 to get the variable that has the highest coefficient. And if we do that, we can see that this uh, equation has the highest uh, coefficient in column 2. So we take it as our equation 2. These two are out. Now we check from the last two, which is this one, that are remaining. And we check in there, uh, column 3, and take the variable with the highest coefficient. If we check between these two, we can see that 10 here is the highest coefficient in this column. So it will form our equation 3. And now we have only one equation left that has not been uh, chosen. So it will be our equation 4. We are now done with the naming. So we can now uh, arrange this in this order. The arrangement has been done. As you can see here, we used this as our equation 1. This came as our equation 2, this was our equation 3, and then this, the last one, equation 4. We are done with the rearrangement, so we can now rewrite this uh, system to have x1, x2, x3, and x4 as the subject of the uh, systems in equation 1, 2, 3, and 4. So to do that, we will take um equation one and make x1 the subject which is equal to we have 18 minus 5 x2 plus 3 x3 minus x4 we divide it by the coefficient of x1 which is 13 the next thing is we make x2 the subject and that would be from equation 2. So we have 13 minus 2 x1 minus x3 plus 4 x4. We divide it by the coefficient of x2 which is 12 
now we go to the next one which is x3 and this equal to 29 minus 3 x1 plus 4 x2 minus x4 we divide it by the coefficient of x3 which is 10. now we take the last equation and we make x4 the subject 31 minus 2 x1 minus x2 plus 3 x3 we divide it by the coefficient of x4 which is 9 now we have rewritten the system so we go ahead now and make our iteration table and from there we will start with our calculator after the iteration table our iteration table has been done so we will now enter this data in the calculator but for us to do that because the calculator does not have x1 x2 up to x4 so we will name our x1 as a our x2 as b our x3 as c and then x4 we name it as d we do the same thing here because that is what we are going to use in the calculator instead of x1 x2 x3 and x4 so for us to enter the data in the calculator we have for x1 we have alpha instead of x1 we have a is equal to note that the equality sign we have used here is not the regular one that we may be used to it is this one on the calc key and together is alpha and then the calc key that gave us the equality sign that we wanted so we proceed with the fraction key and we enter the data for x1 which is 18 minus we say that our x2 should be b so we have 5b and then for x3 we said that our x3 is c so we have plus 3c and then minus our x4 is d we divide everything by 13 we are done with equation one now to separate it from the rest we have to press alpha key and then colon which is on this uh, integral sign uh, key now we proceed with equation two which has x2 as the subject and next to we are going to use b is equal to now we enter the data for that we have 13 minus 2 a minus c plus 4 d we are done also with equation 2 now we go to equation 3 which we have c as the subject which stands for x3 now we enter the data for that we have 29 minus 3a plus 4b minus d we divide everything by 10 then we move to the last equation we enter its data as usual and then when we are done with that we will proceed with our computations now we have entered uh, the data but know also that when the data has been entered 
you must go back to check to ensure that there was no mistake in what you entered in the calculator because if there is a mistake it may not give you the results that should be always ensure that you check speed is important but accuracy in computations is indispensable so it's better you take your time and check it before you proceed with the computations in my case the check has been completed so i will ask uh, the calculator now to calculate for me remember i was told to use my initial condition that was presented as zero so for the initial iteration i am going to put zero for x1 x2 x3 and x4 but now i am going to the first iteration so i will enter zero for b zero for c and zero for d so it has brought for me 18 over 13 but i want the answer in decimals instead of fractions so i will press this key and that gives me 1.38461538 but since i want my answers to the whole numbers i will take only two decimal places so instead of the long data here i will take only 1.38 now the second is b the value for b i want it also in decimal so i press this key is 0 0.85 for c i press again the equality sign it has brought for me this data 2.83 and then for d i have 3.9 Eight. I proceed to the next iteration, which is iteration 2. So, I press this equality sign. For the value of B, I am going to press again the equality sign for C. The same thing for D, I press the same thing. So, it gives me now the value for A as 1.40. I press again the equality sign. It gives me one point. 9.4 c 2.86 and then d 3.87 iteration 3 so i press again the equality sign for b c and d now my a for this iteration is 0. Point Sorry, not zero actually because it's nine nine and I want to take to two decimal places. So because of that, I will take one here, point zero zero. Then for B, I have one point nine seven. For C, I have three point zero zero, and for D, I have four point zero zero if i can check now my x1 if i take the whole uh, number it will be equal to one x2 will be two x3 uh, it will be three and x4 i will have four for the whole uh, numbers it means my answers have been gotten so i do not need to proceed further i can stop here because the accuracy is obtained. X3 is 3 and X4 is equal to 4. So uh, these are the answers. Thank you so much for watching. And may God bless you as you consider subscribing to our channel.